Would you like a tool to make farming easier? Then you should stick around. What's going on everybody? I came across a site that really makes farming easier, at least for me. One of the nice things about it is you can bring it up on your computer or your phone and you don't always have to go into your menus in the middle of gameplay. If you'd like to follow along as I walk through the site, the address is tfdfarm.com. At first glance, the site's very clean. They have menus for items, descendants, weapons, shards, and a suggestions menu. Let's check out the items. Crystallization Catalyst. If you click on any one of these materials, it spills open a menu. It shows you where to get them. In this case here, where it's recommended. So forth and so on. And on the Crystallization Catalyst Blueprint, they show the drop rate of the Amorphous patterns. Energy activators, no different. Drop rate on these Energy Active Blueprints, as we all know, is 3 and 6%. Moving on to the Descendants, we'll check out Ultimate Ajax. Under each piece, it shows you the items needed, the Amorphous pattern, where you get that pattern, and where it's used, as well as the drop rates. Moving on to the Weapons. Under each piece needed for the weapon, it shows you the drop rates and the patterns. Again, materials needed, the patterns, where to use them, where to get them, and the drop rates. Now this next menu is really interesting. It's the shards menu. How many of you have gone to do a fusion reactor only to find out after farming the patterns, you don't have enough shards to cash in on those patterns? Onto this menu, which I thought was really cool. They have a normal and hard. Where to get the shards, and the amount of shards you get. This I found really helpful, especially when I needed to farm shards so I could do those reactors. Another really cool thing on this website, let's go back to Descendants. I'm going to add Ajax to my wish list. When I click on the little star, over here when I click on the star that says wish list, it shows where what I've put into this list. And as you complete these items, you can actually delete them. So it's almost like a little memo for you be like, oh, what do I need? Oh, I need to get the stabilizer. So I found this really, really helpful. There is an advanced menu. When you spill it open, it gives you the option to increase or decrease numbers. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what it's for. I haven't used it yet. If anybody figures it out, please leave a comment below and let me know. Just a couple of the small things. They have a light and a dark mode if you prefer a light mode. They also have a coffee that you can show them some support. And they also have these filter settings. So if we open this up, and what we'll do is we'll deselect hard and we'll leave everything else selected. So if we close out of this and let's go to descendants, we'll go back to Ajax. These are all grayed out except for this one, which means you can't get any of these other ones under normal mode. So that's a cool little option so you can filter out and see exactly depending on where you're at in the game, on whether or not you can get certain items. As a reminder, I do stream on Twitch on Wednesday and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern and Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. So if you have any questions, stop on by and ask them. I'm usually with the group that can answer them if I can't. I also have a Discord, which is a link in my description below. You can join that and ask questions in there as well. As always, I do appreciate you watching this video. If you'd like the video, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, Leave a like and a comment below of what you think of this video or what you'd like to see in future videos. Now that I've shown you how farming can be easier, you should check out this video on how to combine modules more effectively.